Hey, Maria, I think my gun is jammed up. Can you check it out for me, see if it's working right? Oh, there it goes. You okay? I guess not. Oh, well, you win some, you'll lose some, I guess. But, no, 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 let's let's be serious about this. And welcome back to Let's Play Silent Hill 2. So, last time I mentioned how, uh, now that we have Maria, we've pretty much got everything we need to, uh, go over all of the possible endings you can get in this game. Now, there are four different endings possible on a New Game Plus run, plus a fifth bonus ending that you can get if you get one of these, one, a specific ending, and then run through the game again. Now, uh, these endings are influenced by various things. I suppose let's talk about the ending involving Maria, since she just joined us. Maria's ending uh, is basically revolves all around her. Basically, to get Maria's ending, you just have to do things that would make it like James has a significant amount of care for Maria. Stay close to her, don't run ahead of her, make sure she takes no damage. That's a key part. If you're trying to get Maria's ending, she absolutely must not take any damage, or else I could totally throw it off. There are a couple things that you, there are a couple more things that you can do uh, to influence this ending, but we'll uh, talk about those when we actually come to them. Now, the basic endings, because let's face it, you're probably not going to get the Maria ending uh, your first run through, since you would have no way to know uh, how to get it. Now, one ending is influenced by the items from Mary, the photo and the letter from her. So, to avoid, like, giving out any spoilers, since if you think about the titles of the endings, then there might be some spoilers in there, we'll refer to this as, refer to this ending as Mary's influence. Now, looking at the photo of Mary and looking at Mary's letter will influence this ending. Another thing that influences this ending is staying at full health constantly. Basically, anytime you take damage, be sure to heal it up. And uh, this will uh, go to the Mary's influence ending. The other ending, which is influenced by Angela's knife, so we'll call this Angela's influence, uh, basically, you periodically check the knife, and uh, it's basically the polar opposite of Mary's influence. you got to stay at low health for as much as possible. Basically, just don't heal unless you are going into a tough fight, and it's very likely you'll die. So yeah, basically, unless you really need to, don't heal. Now, uh, the special ending that only becomes available to you uh, once you get a new game plus is actually really simple. Basically, all you have to do is collect these special items. There was one at the gas station that I skipped, so since you can't go back there, at least I don't think, uh, I've pretty much locked myself out from this ending. But uh, it's actually really simple. All you have to do is collect four special items that become unlocked on New Game Plus, and you get this ending. Now, since you've been judging my... If you've been judging my playstyle carefully, you're probably already get it, guessing which ending I'm on my way to. And I'm going to show off uh, all of the possible things that influence this ending. Now, here we've got a memo talking about uh, one... Uh, some of the things that are bothering the patients, like the other side. And uh, here is a key from Joseph, which was one of the patients in that memo we read at the end of the last part. This is the purple bull key, which is something we're going to need later. Get out of the way, Maria. Okay. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, basically all we need to do is explore the hospital and find Laura. Now there isn't much we can do on the first floor right now, most of the doors are locked. And the doors are either locked or, as always, the locks are just broken and jammed. Uh, we could go into that hallway, but that door also has a broken lock, so we're going to have to find another way around to get into there. However, the stairway is open, so we can take this. Okay, so let's head on to the second floor. Now, the hospital actually has a new enemy for us, the nurses. 
These nurses can be pretty nasty. They've got a steel pipe and it does a fairly decent amount of damage and it's got fairly good range, so you want to be careful when combating them. And since this is a hospital, obviously it's crawling with these nurse demons. Our first order of business is to check out this locker room. Inside the pocket of this lab jacket, there is the examination room key. And that's about it. Let's see. The locker won't open, and we'll pretty much get that message for all the lockers. Let's see. Check out the map. There's the linen room, the nurse's station, the women's locker room. Let's see if any of these doors have results. We can go into the women's locker room. couple of things we need to get in here. Ow! What's wrong? I just pricked myself. Are you okay? Yeah. Examining the teddy bear gets you a bent needle. Why James feels the need to pick this up is anybody's guess. But, probably more importantly to you at this point, since it's not obvious what that needle does, there is a shotgun in the locker, and that is our new weapon. Shotgun's pretty good. It's a lot more powerful than the handgun, but it doesn't work very well at long ranges, so it's your standard shotgun. Ammo for it isn't as common, but this isn't as much of an issue. And, uh, actually in this game, shotgun ammo is really common. In Silent Hill 1, uh, ammo for guns that weren't the handgun was actually very uncommon to find. However, in Silent Hill 2, they sort of balanced it a bit more. There's, uh, there's more handgun ammo, more uh, shotgun ammo, and it's got a better spread over the course of the game. Now, it's a good idea to check out uh, all the hospital room since they usually have goodies in them and some key items like the lapis eye key is something we need. This is actually uh, part of a set with the purple bull key. We're going to need both of these keys later. Always be sure to listen for demons or monsters or whatever you want to call them. Handgun bullets and a health drink. We're trying to get a healthy supply of these. So if I ever do need them direly, I will be able to use them. I could run past most of these things, but since I've got Maria in tow, it's probably a better idea to just take them out and save myself some trouble. Okay. I haven't memorized which doors open and which doors don't, so I just check them all. Plus, it kind of adds to the feel, you know. You wouldn't know uh, what doors are locked and what uh, which aren't uh, your first run through, so sort of like that exploration, checking out everything, getting a feel for all the areas in Silent Hill. Aside from the lapis eye key, there isn't actually anything you need on this floor. Just a bunch of goodies you can get mostly. Forgot to reload my gun. Okay, take this one out. Oh, what the hell, I've got plenty of bullets anyway, I may as well take it out this way. There we go. This is sort of the problem with the handgun if you're using it for firearm kills, is that since it's got a low damage output, it's pretty hard to kill something with it when they're down. Okay. Whoops, turned off my light. Is there anything, uh, I do any other room that I need to go into? Let's check out the examining room three. This might be a room that I have to go into. Ah, yes, there is one other thing you need on this floor. First aid kit, not what we need. Over in this typewriter. There's a sheet of carbon paper. Let's see... Okay, 7819. This isn't a password we need to know right now, but it, it's something you want to keep... You want to hang on to it li for later. Thankfully, since the memo, uh, James will hang on to that password. It's not something you have to write down. Okay. 
Since we got the examination room key, let's head back down to the first floor and check out the examination room, since there is something we uh, need there. If we were to go check out the third floor, we'd find that there's a door with a password lock that we can't get through, and the password for it is in the examination room. Okay. I believe this is it. Yep. Okay, let's see what we got here. Not much in this room, however, right over here is a door to the doctor's lounge. Okay, something in the sink. Mm, shotgun shells, of course. Always need some shotgun shells in the sink for the hospital. Food only! Do not store your drugs! Okay, this whiteboard is what we need. 7335. Now, uh... On normal mode, it's just a password, but uh, on hard mode, it is actually a puzzle. And when I say hard mode, I mean hard riddle difficulty, not just like hard action mode. So 7335 is the password we need to take note of. So, so uh, just so I don't embarrass myself like I did with the safe, well, I'll just repeat it to myself so we don't lose sight of it. 7335. 7335. 7335. Okay, three times is good enough. I think I got it. Okay, going upstairs. Okay, so you can go to the roof, but there's nothing we can do there yet. And actually, uh, we can't even get to the roof since we need a key for it. Okay, let's just forget those for a second. Okay, seven, three, three, five. And the door is unlocked. There's actually a very important reason we want to go into this hallway first. It'll take some of the edge off of us. Uh, that's all I'll say. Let's see, we want to find a certain room. Here we go. just a hangover. You should rest. Mm. <clears throat> so comfy. I'm gonna go look for her. For Laura. I'll be back as soon as I can. Okay, so this is why you want to come to this room first. James will drop Maria off here. Now, if you're going for the Maria ending, uh, you, you uh, every so often want to come back and check on Maria. That'll uh, influence the ending for you. Right now, there's nothing else we can do in this hallway. There are some goodies in some of the rooms, but I don't need them right now. And uh, the third floor is actually fairly barren. There's not much you can do in it. The special treatment room is locked, but uh, there's a way to get there. And we're about to go find it. Anyways, uh, other thing to note was in that room that, uh, we dumped Maria in. There was the room, the roof key. So let's head up there. And, uh, there's actually something else important here, uh, ending influence thing. We're going to find, uh, influence for, uh, Angela's influence ending. This diary over here. That diary uh, gives some points to the Angela's influence ending. Now, uh, over there is a fence, and before we go to examine it, there's actually something I want to do. This may not be apparent at first, uh, or why I'm doing this might not seem obvious. Let's use a first aid kit. 
and heading over here. Uh oh. Pyramid head. As counterintuitive that, as that might have seemed, we actually needed to do that to get into those special treatment rooms. Now that's the reason I healed up, because uh, once that happens, you're brought down to critical health. I'm not sure if you're already at critical health, that, if that'll kill you, but uh, better safe than sorry, so. James will just lucky pyramid head him with the blunt of his knife. Turn, turn, turn the numbers. So, 6438. So, I believe the other password was 7819, and this is 6438. Luckily, that's also a memo. Or, I think it's a memo. Hold on, let's check if it's a memo. Turn, turn, turn the numbers. Here we go. Yep, 6438. Now, the reason you need to go around collecting these passwords is I believe they are random every time you play. So, you have to go collect the carbon paper and, uh, see that message on the wall. No sequence break for you. Anywho, these passwords are for something, uh, in the third floor hallway here. Okay, so I think Maria is in S4. No, S3. So, let's check out all these doors. Nope. 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 Monster? Is it dead? I think so, yes. Here we go. Room I can actually get into. Save point, health drink. All I care about is the health drink. Hey! Is that all you got? Yeah, stay down. Okay, S12 has nothing. S13, so S14. We've got a box here with many different locks on it. Luis, I'll take care of you forever. And that four is just telling you how many locks are on this thing. So, turn, turn, turn the numbers. So, six, four, three, eight, seven, eight, one, nine. There we go. And uh, we need some keys for the rest of this, so that purple bull key and the lapis eye key, we use those in junction. <clears throat> the, combined the combined feature isn't something you actually use that often in this game, but it's nice when you can use it. <clears throat> and there are a few strands of hair inside. Now, why did we need this hair? Well, uh, this is probably one of the more obscure puzzles of Silent Hill 2. One of the more head-scratching ones, definitely. Takes some pretty odd logic to think to do this. But the reason we need this hair, this hair, and, uh, another item we have, the bent needle, is there is something in this drain here. You'd think by a long, narrow tool, you'd think, like, something you'd find in a toolbox, like maybe some pliers, maybe some tongs. But no, we're going to use this hook and this hair, or the needle and the hair, to make a makeshift hook. Gotta wonder how James came up with something like that. But we've got the elevator key, I believe it was. 
I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, elevator key. So now we can actually get into the first floor, since this elevator will take us to the hallway there. Unfortunately, this isn't like Silent Hill 1, where there's an elevator that goes to a non-existent fourth floor. We can only go to the three floors we have available. Okay, so we're in the first floor hallway. Uh, may as well check out all the rooms like I have been. Let's start with this one. C4! Lock is broken. C3? There we go. What do we got here? Shotgun shells. And some handgun bullets. Nice. Gotta love how there's ammunition scattered all about the hospital. Teddy bears? this later. This is no place for a kid. There are all sorts of strange things around here. I can't believe you haven't even gotten a scratch on you. Why should I? Wait, wait! There's something I gotta get! Later, okay? But it's really important! What is it? A letter from Mary. Huh? Yes! Yes! What are you doing, Laura? It's further back, in the desk. Laura! What are you doing? Ha ha, I tricked you. Open the door, Laura. Why should I? I'm a liar, right? Want me to open it? Huh? Huh? Do ya? What's the magic word? Laura? Okay. I guess it won't open it. I think I'll just leave you like this. You snotty little brat! Open up! Why, you... you... Laura? You fucking... Well, after falling for quite possibly the oldest trick in the book, 
we are thrown into another boss battle with the Hanging Demons. Now, this boss battle is different from the first one in that, first of all, these demons can actually be killed. Second of all, uh, there's actually more than one of them. Now, be careful, because what they try to do is they try to get in close and kick you or strangle you with their feet. And I was just firing at their air there. Let me reload real quick. Okay, I think it's about maybe three or four shots before one of these things goes down. And uh, when their feet curl up, that means they're dead. Calm down. Jeez, you are resilient. They usually don't last that long. Okay, let's see. Ah, there we go. After you kill the first two, a third one shows up. I'm probably running low on ammo here. Yep, one shell left. It's weird, they usually aren't this resilient. At least not on normal mode. Luckily, uh, even without bullet adjust, you get enough shotgun ammo to deal with them. bizarre end to that fight. We've been taken into a courtyard, it looks like. Well, this place didn't look good at first. Doesn't look any better now. We have been whisked into the Nightmare Hospital. This was something that was popular in the first game, and it makes its triumphant return. There's normal Silent Hill, which I guess as normal as you can say that is, is a fairly creepy place, and then there's Nightmare Silent Hill, where it just gets even worse. Usually with a lot of rusty grates, blood everywhere, and generally creepy at atmosphere. So yes, that was the regular hospital taken care of. Next time, when we come back, we will be taking care of the Nightmare Hospital. So until next time, see ya.